when we look at our Asian American history, it is a really important part of our American history. It has contributed to its economical, social, and religious growth. Asians came to the Americas in the currents of commerce and conquest that began in the mid-16th century. By 1760s, Filipinos were coming to Louisiana, and in 1780s, South Asians were settling. Then in the 1790s, the Chinese and Hawaiians came to California and the Pacific Northwest, principally as laborers in the fields and factories. Over 300,000 Asians entered Hawaii between 1850 and 1920. The U U.S. government and private companies ordered Asian labor as if it were a commodity, and the Chinese were among the first to respond. And this helped transform the sugar industry, um, and while at the same time displacing native Hawaiian laborers, the annexation of California in 1848 opened the floodgates for Asian laborers. And the list goes on. In 1880s, the Japanese came. 1900s, Filipinos came. Koreans came in 1903. And South Asian Indians in 1907. We Asian Americans do have a long history here in America and have contributed to its growth sociologically, culturally, and religiously. But certain, ha certain things happened to us as Asian Americans. In 1945, Congress repealed the Chinese exclusion law, as well as the restrictions against Filipinos and Asian Indians. Chinese wives of American citizens were allowed finally to, back, to come into the United States in 1946. Congress then amended the 1945 Bride, War Brides Act to allow Chinese American veterans to bring their wives into the United States. So there was this uplifting of these laws that were put in place to restrict immigration. And Chinese are the only ones in the history of the United States that were excluded from immigration at any point in time. Other patterns of racial exclusion or oppression towards Asian Americans include the development of the yellow peril and the model minority myth. I talk about model minority in many of my other work, uh, 